The thing about bumper bangs, just be prepared that it'll probably look good in person. But once you take a photo... Hello! Well, that's a nice big trash bag in the background. <laughs> Magic. So today I thought I would do a hair tutorial. Feels like a while since I've done one of those. Might not have been. What, what year, year is, it? is it? So every time that I do bumper bangs, I always get questions on how I do it and asking for a tutorial and all that jazz. And all that jazz. So I thought I would do that today. And I wanted to show you a couple different ways of doing it. Mainly one being kind of huge bumper bangs and then the other one a little bit more subtle. <laughs> These are pretty easy to do. Uh, they just take just a little bit of patience and a little bit of trial and error. But um, I believe in you. So first things first, there are a few different ways that you can make bumper bangs. For me, I like to go with these little mesh hair rats. I don't remember exactly where I got this, but I will do some digging and try to find the link. If you uncomfortable. The other option is taking an actual hair donut and then you snip it. Another option, and what they used to do back in the day, was kind of gross. But you try to save all the hair from your hairbrush and then put a mesh or maybe a hairnet over that. This is a good option because it matches your hair and you don't really have to worry about this peeking through. The con is that you have to explain why you have a stockpile of six months worth of hair stashed away. <laughs> I myself like to go with the hair donut version because I think it gives a little bit more stability. So I think we should just start off with a bang and go with the giant bumper bangs. First things first, we are going to section off the hair that is going to be rolled up. So we're gonna go ahead and cue the Cousin It tutorial time. And what you're gonna do is section off basically this much hair is what I like to do. So it's kind of just right at the corners. Ideally, you'd probably want it to be like a triangle. I'm not gonna worry too much about that right now. <laughs> I like to hairspray the ends especially, just to keep the ends together. And then quite simply just roll the hair up and try to keep it as tight as you can. So once you get here, you're going to make a U shape and then pin. That's what's nice about these mesh donuts is that the bobby pins just go right into them. Okay, so once you feel like that's secure, then you start taking the hair and spreading it out. I think everyone does this part a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you how I do it, which is a little bit messy, but we're gonna do something to clean this up later. So don't judge me pin this loose hair and this extra hair. Technically, you could just stop here um, if you're a little bit more careful about hiding the ends. Cause you'll see it looks okay from this angle, but once you turn, I'm not very good at hiding it. So what I do as an alternative is I take the sides of my hair. This does take a little bit of practice if you've never done victory rolls before, um, but basically you're gonna curl it around your fingers and then curl upwards and then lay that curl right there so it's oh so conveniently hiding the edges. <laughs> I'm sure you can do a better job of hiding the bobby pins, but you get the general idea and that really helps with the pressure of hiding the hair rat in the first place. So that's pretty much it. So these ones, like I said, are very big, and right now they're making me think of Meet Me in St. Louis, but, you know. And then as for the rest of the hair, you could just leave it like this. But I'm gonna pull it back, and then put a little bow on it. Now I just have to take out all the bobby pins. Eight hours later. 
Okay, now for the second version, we're gonna take this donut. Now it is a hair croissant. <laughs> we're just gonna do the same thing we did last time. So here's the second version. That's what I do. Um, it's not perfect. You can still see the hair donut in quite a few different places, but that's kind of where the patience comes in in order to properly hide it. Also, I think I will be purchasing red versions of these so that if it does poke through a little bit, it's not as noticeable. That's it. I think I actually like the smaller version better. Let me know if you guys end up trying it and make sure you tag me if you want because I'm nosy and I love to see what people are doing. Mm -hmm. But that is it. I love you guys whether you're new or old to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Why are you so magenta? Okay, so, um, yeah. You know, Frodo, it's a bit like I hit the record button and then to you that signals that you need to go get a toy. That's just kind of what I'm gathering from this situation. Is that what is that what's happening? And a little bit of trier trier and error. I myself like to go with the hair donut. Crinkly TV. You're a piece of trash. <laughs> Where are the skizzers? Ugh. You know, we had like five pairs of scissors and now we're down to one where do they all go <laughs> what are you doing so same thing hello darkness my old friend i've come to talk with you again me, me in St. Louis.